Capri Corn. What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of Capricorn between the 1st and the 15th of March? Hmm? Hmm? Are we in reflection mode? Are we thankful for starting over, press, and reset? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, boo. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, mm -hmm, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can assist you without cursing, okay? This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Capricorn. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. To returning subscribers, y'all, what the hell has been going on in life? Okay, y'all, we pushing through these shifts. Please protect your energy. I'm telling everybody, protect your energy through this Pisces Mercury retrograde. Period. You understand the Mercury retrograde in Pisces? Please protect your energy. A lot of you all are having very synchronistic dreams, okay? And it's really about recording them, writing them down. They're tied to your life purpose, Capricorn, all right? Um, if you're needing a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This reading is general, so it may or may not resonate with everybody, all right? Um, if you need that reading, just hit me up, email me, you guys, and we can get it popping, all right? So, again, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Can't forget my gang, gang. Cross Watchers, because I'm a Cross Watcher when I'm off. <laughs> Neither here nor there, okay? Um, you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? So we're going to start off with your intuitive messages for the month. Oh, also, y'all, thank you for all my likes, share, subscribes, my donations. That donation shit just started. Thank you, guys. Y'all love the kid. Keep that shit up. I'll be able to go get me a little iPad or whatever from Apple or whatnot so I can be all crispy, so fresh and so clean, clean on y'all's screen. You understand? And my voice won't sound so damn raspy because it is raspy. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I can't change it. My voice raspy as hell. But you gotta love me, okay? Like I love you. All right? So let's get it. So we're gonna start with the intuitive messages. Um... For the sign of Capricorn for this month, you know how I do. I meditate. Whatever um, I receive, I do write it down. And um, I also add my own um, intuitive messages with the energy that I'm feeling as I actually channel your energy now to do your reading. Okay? So what I got for Capricorn was new love, children, inheritance, creator, communication, Aries, Sagittarius. Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, Aquarius, Creative Pursuits, Legacy, Forgiveness, Life Purpose, Leo, Review, Catalyst, Ancestor, Marriage, Legalities, Trust Yourself, Compromise, Family Matters, Control, and fortune okay the energy that i actually felt while i was laying your angel messages and trying to get just the overall energy of the reading okay just to kind of see where we were going this month with capricorn the energy that i felt was sadness some of you all are really really have been really questioning your dreams for those of you i'm hearing root chakra so for some of you all your root chakra may not be or may be um not as active during this time. Some of you all, if you're having dreams about killing family members or people from the past who you possibly could have broken their hearts, if you're having dreams about killing them, there is something within the subconscious that is possibly um, possibly either holding on to that feeling or holding on to anger towards that person, okay? Or there is pieces of you that really, really need to reflect and really release to let that go. Um, I'm also hearing um, children. Some of you all may be having issues with your children's behavior during this time. And I feel like for some of you all, especially those of you who have adult children or um, like teenage children, they may be in the maybe in a in a in a place of like pointing the finger at you. It's like accountability. I'm hearing accountability. They may be in the space of pointing the finger at you for some of their decisions that they choose to make. For some of you all, it is ancestral. You will notice that, you know, you need to take time out to be um, psychologically there. It's it's okay to be materially there for your children, okay? However, when we go, Cappies, we can't take that shit with us. So it's the actual legacies that we build, especially external and internal within ourselves and the loved ones around us, okay? We can't change everybody, but we can do our part to try to make the difference and at least acknowledge, you know, some areas where we feel like we could do better. You know, and, and, and we can't go back to the past, but we can shift how we do things going forward. 
Okay, so that is going to be that compromise. Some of you all are dealing with a spouse that is extremely controlling. This could be you or your spouse. Um, I'm literally um, feeling the energy of someone kind of getting angry because someone's going out or someone's getting angry because of like people like you getting compliments on like social media. The fact that you like some you could be really popular on social media, your spouse could, but someone is trying to control the way someone's um, or control the attention that someone gets. Cappy, some of you all are afraid of your health. Something, Some of you all really need to focus on your health. Some of you all are really needing to eat more green leafy foods. Some of y'all need to fast and really cleanse your energy because some of y'all, and I'm going to go and go there, this could be someone who you separated from or someone who you got a situation ship. Maybe y'all booty buddies. You know, I'm going to keep it real. Some of y'all are really tying yourself down to someone who's extremely toxic, and I feel like you're you're in the place of awakening. So some of y'all are, and this could tie into those dreams I'm hearing too. Some of y'all, when the who I was speaking about earlier, where you could you be having dreams that your ex is chasing you, your ex is how can I put it? Like your ex is trying to kill you, or you killing your ex, something of that to of that extent. You could also be dreaming about partners that they're actually involved with, or other people who they have within their energy. So you really need to, some of y'all really need to take a piece out there after this time, all right? So let's get it. Cause I don't want these videos to be too long. I'm going to go party with party body with party with Cardi. Oh, cut it, oh, cut it, cut it. I'm oh yeah, I can't do that shit. But that's my girl, All right? So my cappy, let's get it. Your angel message this month, this half of the month, sorry, comes from Archangel Jer Jeremiel. Okay, it says all is well. So y'all, y'all know my lighting. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to, with hidden blessings that you will soon understand, okay? So the overall energy around this reading, Cappies, is the magician. So it lets me know that there are renewals, rebirths, restructures, restarts. Um, some of you all are having to literally start over after possibly separating from someone I'm hearing. Some of y'all are going through spiritual awakenings, and I'm feeling this energy of solitude. But there's this also energy of comfort, like you're used to doing something a certain way. Spirit is saying that change is good, okay? Change is good. Put you first, you, family. What can you leave behind? What What is important to you, and what can you leave behind? Thank you. And what messages do you have for my cappies? What is the spiritual guidance for Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers. First and half, okay. Divine partnership. Some of you guys, you're having to go through this renewal, these resets, these restarts, because spirit is actually doing something for you. Some of you all are going to be moving forward, possibly towards a water sign, possibly towards someone who you have some type of twin flame partnership with, okay? Some of you, this is the time of twin flame moon with you all. For those of you who do not know what a twin flame is, I suggest that you truly go Google it because they are the light they're the light workers. But they're all it's a divine union, it's a divine divine partnership, the yin and the yang, okay? And there needs to be balance in order for you guys to come together. For some of you all, you really need to shift the way that you look at things, the way that you view situations, circumstances, uh, people, places. Some of you guys really gotta stop looking at the things around you with with eyes of judgment. OK, like I said, you cannot change the things that people do. You cannot shift and change. You can't alter the choices that people choose to make. However, you can alter yourself in the way that you deal with them. You can only shift. You can only adjust the situations accordingly, according to your comfort, your happiness. Your What does that make you happy? OK, if it does not, let's try not to control and hold on to shit that can no longer assist us in growth you get what i'm saying so some of you all this could also have to do with the way that you look at some type of rebirth some of you guys are um again going through an awakening some of you guys could also um be having dreams about children some of y'all have a life path of actually like being being healers or being some type of um teacher like or some type of like nurturer for children some of you guys could possibly want to open up a daycare center some of you guys could definitely be thinking about some form of um like working in the hospital uh like in the in the children's section some of you guys could also be wanting to adopt a child or i'm hearing contracts so some of you guys could also be in the process during this month of like um 
finalizing contracts and things of that nature towards adoption and foster children. That has to do with your life purpose is what you actually did in the past life. For some of you all, it's walking away and choosing to move out on faith and moving away from things, people, situations that, again, does not add to your growth. But then there's this rebirth that you're going to be going through. You're going to be seeing things a whole lot clearer. During this time, some of the people that you possibly hang with or you once hung with, you know, some of, as the retrograde occurs, people are going to be coming back. And for some of you all, they're coming back so you can truly see where you've been. In order for you to be appreciative of your growth and your ascension and where it is that you're trying to go, things are aligning for you, okay? For some of you all, you're going to be in this meditative place during this month, all right? Those of you, um, some of y'all really need to spend time out in nature. You really need to spend time out in nature and really, really ground yourself. For some of you all who practice some type of, um, some type of uh, protection having to do with like, with using like fire magic of some sort. Pools into purpose. Pools into purpose. Some of you guys may be having distractions. Distractions and situations that's coming to kind of distract you from moving towards your purpose because you're so close, baby. Some of y'all are going to have a crown chakra, a crown chakra activation. So some of you all who use crystals, amethyst is going to be your best friend during this time. Some of y'all need to eat, uh, some of you all need to eat more strawberries. Now, I'm not a damn doctor. I don't know what that, what, what strawberries do, what they're good for. I can look that up myself, you know, but I am seeing spirit is pulling for some of you all who have been thinking about growing crops. Spirit is saying, yes, go forward. Some of y'all could be very passionate about someone. There's this intense connection that's going, that's a tense, intense connection between you and another person. And for some of you all, um, some of y'all finna enter into a, a soulmate union, a soulmate partnership. This person is destined for you. And this person has to do with some type of heart chakra activation as well. Some type of heart chakra partnership. For some of you all who are um, spiritual teachers, you're going to be, <laughs> business is going to be advancing for you during this time, especially if you're doing any type of like Reiki healing or something of the nature. I do see business expanding for you during this time and you're going to find that a lot of people that are going to be coming to your business is going to need some type of strong clearing. So you really need to ground yourself and protect your energy during this time. Some of y'all, and I, I felt that, some of you guys really haven't had an issue with speaking your truth because I feel like for some of you all, you're really holding Holding all the power in your hands to free yourself from situations so that you could truly be where you want to be. And I feel like for some of you all, this could even have to do with creative pursuits, passion, your life purpose. I feel that some of you all have people in your energy that kind of find all type of negative aspects towards looking at things, especially when it pertains to what your calling is. Some of you all have a telepathic connection to uh, yeah, past life partner, soulmate, to a flame. And I feel that things are aligning for you. For some of you all who are going through separation, spirit is saying, please do not fight. Please just, they, they need you to surrender. Because things are aligning for you to actually um, serve out your soul contract, baby. Uh, here you go, as it was written. As it was written, so be it. Some of you all could also be having some type of uh, revelations through your dreams. Some of you all could also be finding that you're a hell of a dream interpreter during this time. And for some of you, you didn't even know that you had this gift. And for some of you all, spirit is going to be actually bestowing upon you. For some of you all, it's the gift of clear audience. Thank you, spirit. For some of you all, it is the gift of premonition. And for some of you all, this is going to be a hell of a time for you to have deja vu, deja vu moments. You'll find that whenever you're outside or when you find yourself outside in particular places, you'll have like deja vu flashes or like flashes of deja vu, especially around large groups of people when you're outside, let's say a park or um, something to that extent, y'all. Yeah, but again, something about alignment. Things are aligning for you, okay? Yeah, for you to have this harmony and abundance, okay? For some of you all, it's actually the alignment 
the alignment of the masculine and the feminine aspects of yourself. For some of you all, it's the alignment and the, the alignment of the actual twin flame union to come to come forth and materialize because it's going to bring you some type of balance. But some type of for some of you all, some type of balance needs to be restored. Some of y'all could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, or Leo. Yeah, the Spirit is saying there is abundance. For those of you who have been looking to have a baby, okay, Spirit wants you to know that your that your divine partnership is protected. And it's for some of you all, you've been wondering why I can't have a baby with this person. It's simply because it's not meant for you to. For some of you all, it's meant for you to have a baby with your past life partner. And it's fated for you to have a family and your whole fulfillment, like your whole fulfillment totally circling around that. That's fated for you. I probably sound like I'm rambling. Again, I feel the issue with the throat chakra, like knowing what it is that you want to say. For some, during this time, some of y'all uh, really may need to write your dream interpretators. You really need to write your dreams down. Some of y'all may be seeing a lot of butterflies during this time, signifying newness, a rebirth for some of you all. Some of you also, again, may be dreaming of children. And for some of you, you're, you're thinking that those children are tied to um, a partner or some type of karma. For some of y'all, it is. But for some of you all, this could be your children that possibly could have um, belonged to you in a past life. For some of you all, you have, you're going to be um, receiving a new spirit guide who could also be a child. And don't knock it, because I had a child as my spirit guide before. She left me. But that's all right. I still got my inner child, so I rock any day. Rock out with my cock out. But for some of you all, there will be a pouring of abundance. Some of you all, you may be also seeing rabbits during this time. Some of y'all, um, some of you may find interest in dragons or some type of prophecy around dragons during this time. And I feel that there's something about that tied to writings. Some of you all may be wanting to write about it. I do see it bringing you abundance. Some of y'all really need to pay attention to the birds that are around you, especially if you continue seeing if you can, if you continuously seeing cardinals. For some of you, you're connected to bees having to do with fortune and abundance, great health. And some of y'all may also be seeing white birds as confirmation to some sort of prayer or some type of confirmation to the next step to something. You get you get me? Hmm. Yeah, things are definitely balancing out for a lot of you all to live your life purpose. For some of you all, you are um, clairvoyant. And I feel that there's this fear of being judged, but you really need to see things from a different perspective. Why are you worried about the judgment of one or two people who probably ain't got their shit together? Or possibly not on. They're, they're, I feel like you are listening to people who are kind of stuck in this 3D paradigm. So there's a need for you to actually pull yourself back and really focus on how you feel. Okay? Because I do feel that once you actually balance those emotions out, temper yourself, ground yourself. Some of y'all really need to work on the heart. I mean, some of y'all need to work on the throat chakra. For some of you all, your, your solar plexus may be a bit off there's a need for that's that's really why a lot of you guys are really needing to ground yourself separate yourself from all of these all these people's energy some of y'all really need to stop being watching tarot readings to help you fix your life i'm gonna go ahead and go there because spirit is saying the answer comes from within you but some of y'all are afraid to make the next step or you really not paying attention to the synchronicities around you so there's this shifting that's going on there's this rebirth happening that's just shifting perspective uh, shifting perspective some of you guys' eyes are going to be working different some of y'all also may, may be finding out during this time that spirit has bestowed on you the gift of mediumship there's a need for you not to be afraid instead of seeing it from a place of fear see it from a place of the fact how, how you can assist others and help them to connect with their loved ones which could, which could actually overall bring you abundant seeing that it has to do with your life purpose all right so let's get it all right so that's what i do have from spirit messages for spirit holy divine please show me what can my cappies expect in love between the first and the 15th of march thank you yes yeah, some of you guys are um 
There could be possibly change. Someone could possibly be walking away. Okay. Someone could kind of someone could possibly be in their head overthinking the situation internally conflicted. Possibly regarding moving away and moving towards again that twin flame union shit. That twin flame union. For some of you all, this could possibly involve a Gemini Scorpio. Okay. But there will be possibly a tire moment between the first and the fifteenth of March. All right. And this tire moment could involve around a could involve around a soulmate. Or in some type of like separation, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you've been trying to make things work. You've been trying to compromise, okay? For some of y'all, it's an air, another air sign, Aquarius, Libra. I do feel like, yeah, this is going to force you to jump off the cliff, force you to make that change. For some of you all, this could have to do with the sign of Aries. Someone is walking away, walking away from third party shit. Some of, someone could have actually, um, they could have somebody could have actually been dealing with the catalytic situation to uh, kind of make you make that move. OK, but there possibly is going to be some form of a revelation around uh, some form of a third party. OK, after someone possibly reconciling with someone from their past during this Mercury retrograde. And I do feel like someone has just really been overthinking. If you're dealing with an air sign, I feel like this person is very internally conflicted. They're overly thinking things uh, possibly due to being attached to a third party who they could have reconciled with. OK. Uh, for some of you all, this person really kind of wants to take that leap of faith. However, they're afraid, you know, to kind of make that move. And it could have to do with some type of like asset or some type of tithe. All right. So I do see, um, yeah, for some of you all, possible outcome could just be indecision. Okay. Indecision, indecision, um, stand emotionally conflicted, stand in this place of feeling trapped or stuck, okay? Capricorn, I definitely feel like for some of you all, if you're dealing with a Gemini Libra queer, some of y'all in y'all cases, this person could possibly be standing their ground. They're going to, some of y'all, y'all going to be receiving a big chop during this time. And it has to do with someone feeling as if they're not growing, okay? Um, for those of you who are dealing with Earth, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like this person is just really focused on their money. They focus on their assets, their finances. I definitely feel like if they're, um, if you're dealing with an earth sign, I feel like the issue with them could have to be someone is feeling as if they are, again, not growing, not growing. Someone could also be having an issue. If you're dealing with the earth sign, somebody could possibly be leaving a job or possibly be separated from a job or have to make a decision around work. But I do feel someone could possibly have lost their job and finances could be the issue why someone could want to, you know, move forward or um, not be talking right now. If you're dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel that you and this person, and this could be this third party situation that I'm feeling because I definitely feel like fire, air, and Capricorn is connected in some kind of way. Okay. Um, but I definitely feel like if you're dealing with fire signs, spirit is saying that though there is a lot of passion there, that there needs to be positive communication in order to move things forward, okay? In order for someone to feel confident in taking that leap of faith. I definitely feel like some of y'all could possibly be internally conflicted about having a new start with an Aries person or uh, possibly just Leo, Sag. So if you're dealing with water, this could possibly be a reconciliation, okay? Uh, someone returning back from the past, but I do feel like they're still returning back in the sights of Cappy. You know what you want, so you you have the choice. Do I restart, okay? Do I continuously put in this effort and overgive and overextend like I have in the past, okay? Or do I just really be willing to jump off the cliff, start new elsewhere, no, and practice the law of attraction? Be that vibration in which you're looking to attract, and so be it. OK, so I do feel that um, a lot of you all are having to separate, moving away from people, or moving away from situationships, relationships, uh, partnerships uh, due to divine timing. Divine timing. Some of y'all, this tower is happening because you got somewhere to be. And for some of you all, this definitely has to do with the soulmate relationship. For some of you all, it's a life partnership. And for some of you all, this could actually be your partner's energy. OK. This could be why this separation happened, especially if they left you in this place of indecision, not knowing. OK, I definitely feel some type of tower moment happening to give you that revelation during this time so that you could truly deal so that you could truly heal from it and release it with this eight of swords and this two of swords. That equals a ten of swords, That's a releasing, a pouring so that this renewal, this rebirth can occur. You have everything that you need in order to still be confident and just 
be able to move faithfully ahead and not be grudged for a whole or, 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 or point the fingers, but really focus on what was best for you. Was that really assisting you in growing? Okay. So this is what I have for my Capricorns between the 1st and the 15th of March. If you need that personal reading, hit me up, y'all. Much love, much light. I love you all. Namaste. Bye, babies.